Meats, cheeses, fruits, the staples of a charming charcuterie board. We all know that this pretty platter is party magic, but not always that simple to make. I love seeing a board when I deliver it, when it looks beautiful, and I honestly love seeing it after it's been demolished. We spoke to Linda Hopkins, owner of Harmony Boards in Phoenix, Arizona, who shares three tips for assembling the perfect charcuterie board for your party guests. First, the cheese sets the tone. So you want to make sure you have a soft cheese, like this fromage pavé here, or a brie, and you can do one or two of those, and then you need two or three of the harder or semi-hard cheese, like here we have some manchego and a Toscano and a cheddar. Cheese for a charcuterie board can get pricey, but there are ways to slice down on the expense, just not the quality taste. You can go to Whole Foods and go in their $5 less section. They have little ends and bits, so you can get a good mix of cheeses there. And if you're a party goer who tends to snag the cheese first, don't forget your manners. When you cut cheese to serve yourself, for instance, from this brie, you want to cut along so you can keep the shape. Linda says that cutting the tip off a wedge of cheese is bad etiquette. Next, charcuterie board meat techniques takes the board to the next level. And then with prosciutto, you also, this isn't very pretty on its own, just laying on the board flat like this. And I pull off the paper that separates the slices. And then I just, again, kind of make a ribbon with it, fold it up on itself. And then I take a little paring knife and slice it in half and I fan it out as I put it on the board. The fan technique also works for salami. To fold it in half and then quarter, half and then quarter, and then go every other direction with your fold. Then when you put them on the board, they just kind of flower out. Lastly, the sides bring the charcuterie board all together. Accoutrements is what we call them. So that could be the chocolates, the pickles, nuts, fruit, even vegetables. Set the tone for your board with sides that are in season. So you want to make sure everything is seasonal. The board looks better that way. I mean, if you have a fall board with persimmons and pears and apples, that makes sense. Whereas a summer board is going to be berries. And before your guests arrive, make sure you refrigerate it until about a half an hour before you serve it. Then you want to take it out so the cheese can come to temperature, but don't take it out two hours ahead because it really should only sit out for about two hours total. We're elevating your hosting skills with the ultimate charcuterie board at the top of the list.